ダーラダーラダンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタンタン This summer, are you ready for the return of the VCLT? No, no! Yes, yes. Hey, everybody! Welcome to Jex Russell's Vinyl World, and in case you haven't guessed it, I'm Jex Russell, a.k.a. the guy wearing the funky jacket in the VC, who only shows up every once in a while, and then uh, you don't hear from him for a few months. Yeah, that's me. Hello. Welcome. Uh, in case you haven't guessed it, I'm here because I got some mail, as the title says. And, um, today's mail comes to me from Mr. Willis. And, uh, I'm not talking about this Mr. Willis. No, no, I'm talking about the much cooler Mr. Willis. Mr. Jim Willis, a.k.a. Guilty Forgiven, right here in the vinyl community on YouTube. And, uh, yeah. He's been telling me he had a package for me, and it is finally here. And, oh, man, the suspense. Jim has been just telling me... You know, just just little teases. Like I don't I don't know what's in here. He's been giving me little he's been dropping little hints, but it's so hard for me to to, to crack the code. I, I I really don't know uh, what's in there. So um, yeah, I can't wait to, to to see what it is. And a little word about Jim. I mean, I've talked to him. I've talked about him. I've talked to him, and I've talked about him many times. Uh, He's, uh, he's become a good friend of mine here in the VC. He's just an all-around cool guy. Uh, he, he, his taste in music is just, you know, it's very, he's very open-minded. He loves all kinds of, uh, all kinds of music, and uh, that's what I like about him. He shows a lot of great variety, and uh, he's just, he's just a cool guy to talk to. We chat on Facebook all the time, and uh, he's got, he's got a great enthusiasm, a great attitude, and uh, yeah, Jim, you rock, buddy. The proof is right here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to break into this because uh, this actually came in two days ago. And uh, I knew I wouldn't have time to make a live opening until today. So, uh, yeah, it's been uh, the sp suspense has been killing me, man. So let's do it. Let's open it. You're just a three dressed up as a nine. You're only wasting my time. Heard that on the radio yesterday morning and uh, it's been in my head ever since. 10 cool points to the first person who can name that band. Almost there, guys. Almost there. This was packaged for safety. So if this is damaged in any way, there's a problem. <sighs> Alright, the package is open, but first, something I don't do very often. I know this is my signature jacket, my trademark, but it's hot as heck in here, guys. It is basically summer, after all. All right, package time. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I see some records. Let's, okay. If not, I'm gonna not peek. I'm gonna try not to peek. It's so hard. Everything's taped together. Awesome note, oh wow, lots of information. I'm gonna read this after. I don't like to read them first because sometimes there's spoilers and I wanna be completely surprised. Everything has been saran wrapped for freshness, so that's good. <laughs> um. Oh, these appear to be stickers and patches. Anti-racist goon crew. It's a cool patch. Go in the jean jacket. It was cool. I don't know if it's a reference to anything, or if it's an actual, um, group, but that's awesome. Man, you got some cards here, some trading cards. Tom Keeper of Cinderella. CeCe DeVille of Poison. Man, these are cool. These are from, like, the 90s, I would say. 1991. Malcolm Young from ACDC. That's awesome. Chuck Billy of Testament. Man, these are really cool. I'm gonna I have a actually I have a binder. It's right over here, but I'm not gonna pull it out right now. I have a binder which I keep all sorts of trading cards, uh, superhero, movie related, all, all kinds of stuff. So these are gonna go right in there. Catman Do, I'm not familiar with. Cinderella, once again, group shot. Oh man. Scotty Hill of Skid Row. 
Love me some Skid Row. Oh man, this is cool. This is Nick Manza of Megadeth. Man. Yeah, I can tell right now this is going to be a long video. I'm going one by one here, piece by piece, but th th these are too cool to not show. Uh, two Minute Minor. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with Jim. Please leave a comment. Uh, educate me. What is this? Zap Records. Uh, DIY since day one. Zaprecords.bandcamp.com. Again, not familiar with. And another Zap Records sticker. So far, Jim, you're off to a great start. I am. I am loving all of this. Oh. They keep going! What? Two minute minor, once again, this is blood on our front stoop. Um, just by the artwork, I'm assuming this is punk. This looks a lot like a punk band, so I'm just gonna take a shot, shot in the dark, and guess that it's a punk band. Uh, Mastodon, Leviathan. Uh, it's another band. I know Mastodon, I've heard of them, I've heard some songs, but I'm not overly familiar with them. Definitely gotta check more from them. And Okay, okay, okay. I recognize this artwork right here. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, Minier? Minier, as we would say in French? I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is cool. I've seen this artwork definitely uh, in the VC and on Facebook. So yeah, I uh, I recognize I recognize this, this photo, but I'm not familiar with the, the artist. Okay. Gonna fast forward a little bit so I can break through this saran wrap force field. Stay tuned. This this, this, this is gonna be good. Okay, so I, I broke the seal. The seal of freshness has been broken. Uh, let's see. Okay, here is the, the actual album that I just showed the sticker for. Which I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Minier because I'm a French Canadian. Um, yeah, seen this artwork before. Know nothing about this. This guy, this band, um, I'm going to go ahead and guess Christian Rock, Christian Metal. But uh, yeah, super, super look forward to this. I mean, one thing I know about Jim is that he, he has amazing taste in music, so I'm not worried. We have a lot of taste in common as well, so I've never been disappointed with the stuff he's sent me. Alright, <laughs> what's next? Not, now I'm pumped. Now I'm pumped. But what is next? Oh! Sweet! DLR, David Lee Roth. This is titled, A Little Ain't Enough. Um, which I don't have. I don't have, and I've never even heard this one. So, um, yeah, cool cover art. I'm not gonna pull everything out. I know this is gonna be a long video already, but man, love me some DLR. Oracle, Desolate Kings. Again, another band I'm not familiar with. Ooh, killer artwork, Medieval Times. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't say anything about this, but this is cool. Oh man, these, these are gonna be awesome because uh, I have about like, my drive to work in the morning is about 15 minutes, and then with evening traffic, it's about 20 to 25 minutes to come back home, so I can listen to like an album to and from work. So these are gonna come in handy for, for sure. Oh. These are a band. This is a band that we bonded over um, from day one, Jim and I. Van Halen. Well, Van Hagar, technically. Uh, this is Balance. Uh, I have this one in cassette. Did not have the CD. And you know what? I, I was super close to buying this uh, not long ago. I saw it at a, at a thrift store. But it's like I had a feeling. I had a feeling. No, man. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Yeah. The Jex knows. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this okay. He 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 mentioned something about the color red. That was the hint he gave me. He just yeah, red. And I had a feeling it might be this band because he he mentioned them not long before, and it's called Red Lamb. And I only know these these guys because of uh, of Jim. He mentioned them in a video, and he got me super curious. I'm shaking, man. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Um, this was a super group of sorts. I'm trying to remember correctly. Dave Mustaine and I think uh, Dan Spitz of Anthrax. It's also in here. Um, well, there's not much info except for the tracks. But uh, yeah, this is going to be cool, man. Like he showed up. I think if I'm not mistaken, Jim has a vinyl copy of this. And it got me curious um, right as he, he talked about it. So yeah, this is really awesome, dude. You are too kind. You're too good to me. Now I see, I, I saw the shape of a 7-inch 
Record. Didn't see what it was, though. I'm going to just pull it up right now. Whoa. Oh, there you go. Two-minute minor. The sticker. Uh, I was saying how I didn't know who these guys were. Well, I'm about to find out. This is a 7-inch, but there are like eight tracks on here. This is not a single. 2017 Zap, oh, Zap Records. There, it's all coming together. Everything's connected. Full circle. Um, cool. All right. Uh, a goon's best friend. I'm guessing punk, man. You gotta let me know if I'm right, but I'm getting a punk vibe out of this. There's a guy, there's a guy in the back with a bad brains patch. It's gotta be punk. Um, yeah. And I, I, I love punk. I always have. I actually, I wasn't into punk when I was a teenager before I ever was into metal. Now I'm more into metal, but punk started it all for me, man. So this is cool. Now, I, I recognize the pattern here. I saw, like, a, a checkerboard pattern, and, yeah, it could only mean one thing. Fast way. Uh, he asked me if I had any fast way, and um, I actually did not. Um, I'm not even going to look what's next, man. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't have any fast way in my collection. The only fast way I had, technically, I don't know if it counts as an album, but it's the soundtrack to um, Trick or Treat. That was the only fast way I had in my vinyl collection. So now I have this, their debut. <laughs> I'm trying not to look. Um, yeah, Fast Eddie Clark right there, right? Awesome. That's, <sighs> dude, dude. Hagar, Sammy Hagar, VOA. This is another one I got close to buying. This was a while back though. But uh, yeah, very cool, very cool. I actually, I don't think I have any Hagar on vinyl. I have a few on CD. I Can't Drive 55, probably his biggest hit to this day, and I still love that song. You know, I know it gets played on the radio, but I still love it. And I don't recognize any of the titles here, but I've probably heard some of these. I'm not good with remembering titles. Man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. What's next? I see another, uh, one more record. Oh! More Hagar! Sammy, okay. So he said, think the color red. So obviously he meant a few things by that. There was Red Lamb and the Red Rocker. So, oh yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see what you did there. Clever, clever. Um, yeah, this is cool. This looks like a live album. I couldn't tell you. I'm uh, not familiar with it. All Night Long, it's called. So, yeah. I love Hagar. I've told the story a few times how uh, I always avoided the Sammy Hagar um, era of Van Halen simply because he wasn't David Lee Roth. You know, I was all about David Lee Roth. And then, event, you know, I've heard some songs and I was like, no, no, you know, like right now and stuff like that. And then eventually I listened to 5150 and I'm like, man, this isn't bad at all. Like the guy's got a great voice. He's got a great talent. And now I'm like, I'm hooked on Sammy Hagar. His solo stuff, his stuff with Van Halen, it's all good. So yeah. All right. I think, I believe that is it. That's this. Plenty. Yes. So Jim, dude, <laughs> you weren't kidding. This is gold, like all around. Um... I got a few. Uh, I got a few hours until the wife comes home from work, so I'm probably gonna be listening. To... <laughs> I can't talk, man. I'm probably gonna be listening to some tunes. Um, I don't even know where to start. Uh, but uh, this guy, this guy, whatever you call him, this guy has me curious. I might pop that on first and foremost. Uh, so yeah, Jim Willis, Guilty Forgiven. Check him out. He is awesome. Proof. Exhibit A, right here. He's awesome. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I uh, look forward to uh, reading the note, uh, listening to the tunes. You are too good to me, Jim. And uh, as I always say, uh, the favor shall be returned. I have some, a few things to, to send you away, but I want to wait and have a little bit more, you know, to have a nice, decent sized package to send your way. So yeah, in the meantime, everybody go subscribe to Guilty Forgiven. You will not regret it. And, um, be excellent to each other. Go listen to some tunes because that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. All right. This is Jex. Signing off. Ciao, baby! Guys, I'm back so soon. I know. Um, I read the note. I read the note, and it answered a lot of the um, the questions I had going through it. A lot of stuff is cleared up here, and he says, I can feel free to, to read it on camera. Well, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but uh, I will say a few things. Um, Red Lamb, I was correct. It is a super group consisting of Dave Mustaine of Megadeth, uh, Dan Spitz of Anthrax, also Chris Vrenna. Um, Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Nine Inch Nails, which is a band I've never really gotten familiar with all that much. And Patrick Johansson of Ingve Malmsteen. So, super group indeed. Um, and then, what else he said? Oh, yes, the um, the Crucified, which he said, uh, yeah. Oh, no, not the Crucified. 
Oracle, you like Priest, Maiden? You should dig this Christian power speed metal band from the early 90s. So that has me super curious now. It looked cool when I saw it, but I'm even more curious now. Uh, the Van Halen, David Lee Roth, of course. And then, um, oh, the Crucify. That's why I said this, because this guy, oh, Minier, <laughs> I'm going to keep pronouncing it, Minier, uh, he was the guitarist for a band called the Crucify. Yes, here we go. So that's his 1990s solo album. He said he found it at a, at a thrift store and it's not in the best shape. But hey, like he says here, a beat up copy is better than no copy. And I completely agree. And, um, oh, and the, uh, sorry, I, I, I read it quick and I'm like, I, I should mention some of this stuff. Uh, Two Minute Minor. It says here that they are a fairly new band that successfully jams out 80s style hardcore punk. So again, I had guessed correctly. And, um... The lead, Wiley Willis, which is no relation to Jim Willis, uh, is a heck of a guy who's been involved in several projects over the years. But this one is his best by far. Uh, their first release limited to 200 presses. So, uh, yeah, here it is once again. So, very, very cool. So, I just wanted to clear that up because I know there was a, uh, a few uncertainties on my behalf as I was going through it. So, this definitely cleared it up. Um, once again... Do yourselves a favor, subscribe to Guilty Forgiven.